Hi guys, I have another message. Behold, I send my messenger, and he will prepare the way before me. And the Lord, whom you see, seek, seek, will suddenly come to his temple, that's your body, and the messenger of the covenant, in whom you delight, behold, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. So prepare ye the way, saints. Now, I need to get let you know that when the Lord comes to your temple suddenly, uh, it's a little overwhelming. Your body is a temple. He is uh, the one with the fire in his eyes. Um, and it is, it's overwhelming whenever he comes to your temple. Just be prepared and just give in to him. Um, it'll, he'll come in like wind and fire. That's what he, how he came in my window. I, I wasn't sure if he, which direction he came in, but he came in my window and it was a sudden filling of my, te of my body, um, his temple. Now he will burn up anything that's in there. That's not of him. Uh, I have not been changed into the incorruptible or the immor immortal yet. Um, this is the filling of the spirit of God and we will be seeking uh, and that's who we seek. Um, and the messenger of the covenant, um, whom you delight. Behold, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. You will see him in the sky at the uh, angel army. <clears throat> in, in the clouds. With the angel army. He will split the sky. Anyways, so just be ready. I know things are, are we're not to be afraid or anything. If you are not a saved believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Son of the living God. If you are not saved by faith in Him and His resurrection and um, obeying the Father um, in Christ Jesus, um, today is the day of salvation and it's just a time to repent. A time to repent, which it, what repent means is believe the good news of the gospel of faith, which is the Lord Jesus and uh, the salvation. Jesus is God is, salva, is salvation. So the Father is salvation and his way is his son. And so if you trust that he was born in, of a virgin, he um, walked the earth in the power of God and he did everything the Father told him to do. He obeyed the Father. He saved and healed through the Father by the Spirit of God. All things were done through him. Um, if you believe he came in the flesh and he did all that and that he died on the cross and before he died he says it is finished and before he died he told the man standing next to him or, or be hanging next to him on the cross he the man on the cross said to him looked at him and said Lord you don't deserve this you didn't sin the man on the cross who was guilty of sin said you don't deserve to, to die I do because I am a sinner. And he looked at him and he said that. And he said, when you get to your kingdom, remember me. And the Lord Jesus said to him, today you will be with me in paradise. So that day he was going to paradise with Jesus that day. Um, and I'm going to do a video on a breath. A brother and a sister who have a timeline and a, a brother Brian who died um, he has had a child who saw the trumpets I'm one of the trumpets Jesus gave me a trumpet he took me up in the sky put me on a on a horse what it, it was a white unicorn which means Israel and he was on a white horse which means Judah he is the lion of the tribe of Judah and then we came down into earth in the spirit we're moving in all the power and authority of the Lord and we're listening and obeying what the Father shows. Um, and so we're blo we're telling you now is that today is the day of salvation. If you know you're a sinner and you know that you need a Savior, the Lord Jesus is here for you. He is here right now. He's at the door, at your door, at your temple. Your body is the temple of the living God. And now all you have to do is turn to him. He stands there and knocks and he will come in. He not only died on the cross as the Lamb of God, for the sin. He took all the sin of the world then, period. Um, if you trust in his salvation, and he, he resurrected from the dead. Now we're de the dead in Christ in the body of 
Christ in earth, the Lamb of God slain in the earth. We are walking in that body, okay, in Him. But we're all one body, a body of believers, and one church with one Holy Spirit. But we're also grafted into Israel, which makes us part of Israel. If you're Israel, if you're a Hebrew, we really can't tell who is who and if you really are. Um, if you are a Hebrew, you'll have, if you believe in the Lord Jesus, you will have your the Father's name and the Son on your forehead. You are one of the 144,000. I believe that's how it works. If you've been called and chosen and you're faithful to the hearkening of the voice of the Lord, then you are one of his saints that are doing the work with Jesus. If you're part of the church and you were called and you're faithful and you're chosen, you're faithful, you're doing the work too. You're grafted in. We're one family. <laughs> There's no this family, that family, and all this. No. Um, it's one family. However, there's different callings in different times. So just know that he, he hearkens, uh, anything is possible with God. It doesn't matter who you are. If you want to be in the family and household of God, just accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Listen to the Father. Read the Word of God. Understand that he's going to direct your path. If you have faith in what he did and you receive him and his save, salvation, his way, his death, burial, and resurrection way as the Lamb of God for your blood, hit the blood of Jesus for your sins, you're part of the family. If you have faith in that, you're saved by faith and not by works, lest any man should boast. It's faith alone, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Yeshua HaMashiach, the Messiah. Messiah means Christ, and only Jesus came in the flesh, died for our sins, and only he is the Christ. If you believe in his death, burial, and resurrection and the great work that he did walking the earth when he did in the, in the power and authority of the Father of heaven, God, who is a Holy Spirit, who is a spirit, who is not a flesh man, if you believe in him and trust him and obey him, you're, you're, you're just by faith. You're, you're one of the family. You're, you're going to be a child of God. You are a child of God. And one day he's going to change us, put on mortal immortality and incorruptible. Right now we can be corrupted. You know, we can sin, you know, because we're in the, the body. You, you, you even don't even know half the sins that we do, just our words, because the English language has just sinful words in it. So that's why he says, watch what you say, what you say, because in the tongue you have, you have life and death in the tongue, um, unknown sins. So if someone is living the most holy life and they look holy, you know, just the, the flesh is enmity towards God, it says, but through Jesus, you have peace with God. That's the peace. And that's the joy that we have, that we do nothing to be saved, that we trust in the faith that we have because Abraham was saved by faith. So are we. And so I just pray that if you if you are now a family of God, just by just hearing these words, because faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. This is the word of God speaking to you. This is the this is the gospel message. And Jesus went out in full power after he died and resurrected. And then he went and met the apostles and he met hundreds of other people on earth in his resurrected body. Just proving in the glory, but he had the holes in his hands and the holes in his feet in the glory of the, the Father and the Son in, in one body. He was the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit in one body. Because it says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. That's what it says in the, in the Word of God. So anyways, I got to get in and help my grandma shop. But um, I love you all. And I know that time is short. Just get yourself ready. Um, turn when I say repent, repent to the Father in heaven in prayer in Jesus Christ in His name in His body, um, and God will forgive you. He will forgive you seventy times seven. It says in the Word of God, any sin, and by His stripes, by the stripes Jesus took, we are saved. We are cleansed. We are healed. There's nothing that can hold us to this earth. Nothing can hold us from the love of God. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. And I declare that for the body and bride of Christ, which we are one. Um, I declare that, that, um, that, that, you know, in the body of Christ, that it, everyone be healed. That everyone be healed in their body. 
by the power and authority that was given to me and Luke talked about he talked about the, the power in the Lord I declare that everybody be healed all sickness all disease go in the name of Jesus Christ and the power of God just come upon you and give you new life because in us is the hope of glory by our faith he seals us with the promise some of us are filled we have waited and the power of God has come in he came in suddenly into the, his temple he is living in us, and he comes from outside the body because we are carnal prior to that. He has to come from outside the body, come in and light our, our lampstands. The churches are the lampstands. So there's so much more I could share with you, but right now I just want to just say, Behold, the Lamb of God who was slain for your sins and my sins and anyone who would receive him. Praise him alone. Praise him alone. All glory, glory, glory to him. It is his kingdom and power, and glory. And just remember that the kingdom of heaven on earth, in earth, actually, is in us, in our bodies. But whenever we leave this place, when our spirit and soul, mind, will, and emotions, joined with the Lord Jesus by his Holy Spirit, leaves this place, after, after we get our resurrected bodies, or at death, your spirit goes, um, just know that... Uh, that you will be changed in a twinkling of an eye at the last trump. Trumpets are sounding. We're sounding. But there's going to be a loud trump. The trump of God. And he'll call us up to himself. It's not going to be as some people think. And even I don't know exactly how it's going to be. Because it's going to be so overwhelmingly amazing. And, and probably a little bit scary. Because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. It's going to be... It's going to be powerful, and this earth is going to quake when the body of Christ leaves this place, the bride of Christ. So, um, people get ready. <laughs> Behold. I love you all. Bye-bye.